today I'm coming on with a quick video. This is what is left out of um, the bits and pieces I was doing um, when I was sorting out my craft cubby. I don't know if anybody else is like this, where you get bits and pieces and it gets to um, the end of the project or what you've been doing and you just run out of steam. So this is what I'm sorting out um, today. Um, and I want to make sure I do empty it and put everything away, whether it's put away in my cubby or in the bin, or whatever place it needs to be. Um, this, when I ever do any sorting out and organising, decluttering, you always end up with bits and pieces, well I do actually at the end of the day or the end of the session. And sometimes it does take a little while um, to get around to sorting it out and then it just builds up but I'm definitely going to get this done and I don't know if anybody else is in the same boat this doesn't look a lot and yes you can leave the basket put it to one side and forget about it and that's what I've done actually for a couple of days when you're sorting out boxes or bigger areas that actually look as though you actually accomplish something and it's showing that's a different matter but when you get the bits and pieces this is why I say to my family it doesn't look sometimes at the end that I'm not done anything but it's all the little bits and pieces sometimes you've got to put away that takes the time rather than the bigger project I mean I don't know whether you'd be one of those people I don't know would sort it out maybe somebody else would say hang on a minute is it actually worth my time get the basket and just empty it all in the bin i'm not quite like that if i've got time i will sort it out but i get to the stage that i have to be absolutely thorough what i keep i just wanted to come on and um sort of talk about this because very often i have a little basket or i have a bag when it gets to the end of the day or something or you're tired like I keep saying you're out of steam you just empty it into a bag and think I'll do it at a tomorrow the next day later do you know how it goes so I just wanted to actually come on and just explain this that I have actually um, been posting sh very short videos this last week and I'm doing it for seven days of 10 minutes and less. It's things that I'm either, well, I'm doing little craft, pro craft projects, I'm shopping, organising, but it's just to give myself time this last week to try and catch up on my everyday stuff because I did spend a week doing my cubby. I spent the whole of about six seven weeks doing the rest of the house so I just needed although I still wanted to post I was posting things that were relevant for that day to also give me a chance to have a catch-up week so I hope people can understand and I'm hoping to prove that I can actually empty this and get this sorted out So things like this, I have got another one somewhere but it's not here, that I will put in my, a lot of this could probably go in the embellishment box, or drawers as I call it, and then what I will do is things like um, these little googly eyes, yeah I probably could dump them but it's all money and then I've got some bells and I've each got um, a little jar as I say. Um, for all these pieces so I'm just going to get on with it and sort it out there is a few little bits like this odd leaf that I used for my scissors machine I will probably get rid of and um, these little stars so there will be there was a um, thing that I stamped and I'm going to put that in with my embellishments to be used these also bits and pieces that I've um, been cut off. That's the little squares that can go in there. I'm trying to give myself just a few minutes to get this done. Um, so I'm not spending too long actually thinking about things. There's another bit of leaf. This little twine, that, one I can, that bit I can dump. 
but this little bit of twine I can keep because that go in my string box which is down on the floor sorry that was my bin that's just gone from knocked over so yeah I am still feeling quite rough and I've got a still got my cough and family are not too good either so then I've got a lot of these hearts that I used um, a friend's stamp for so I'm going to put those I have actually got a little place to put all those I just got to find the little baggie so I'm just pulling all those out these can be used um, in for tags and I've got some more bells and that's an embellishment this is what I mean sometimes it's just as easy just to so I've got the bin behind me that I'm throwing bits in um, but I, it gets to the stage now um, I've got to be quick and think things through that's just an odd one I'm going to dump that one these cards are what I cut off of the front. I'm going to keep those because they can be used um, for either for the Sizzix machine or I can use them to make embellishments, which will be probably another little project so that goes in my embellishment drawer at the side here. These are um, chalk labels. That's the chalk that can go in my box here. This one here, it's got my labeler, so I'm just going to pop those in there. Like I said, I, I'm not mucking around about this anymore, I'm just going to get on with it. Um, that's not worth keeping. At Christmas time, that's another embellishment. So is that, all these bits and pieces, more hearts. Um, these little tiny bits I'm just gonna dump those that is a very tiny tiny little cardboard button so I'm gonna put that in my little bit one with embellishments the same as these sort of things so they can be used there's another little button a little key that can go in the top with the cogs And then I've got a lot of these that got separated that can be done in the planner or I can put them in little junk journals so they all go together. That's another embellishment, that's a Christmas one. Maybe it might be easier just to separate those for what would be normal and what would be for Christmas. Here's another one, this is what I mean. Maybe projects where um, you have bits left over, or and I used to have things like I've emptied, I don't know if you can see in the corner, I have this tray where bits and pieces get um, put aside. That's another Christmas tree one. That was a wooden bite, yes, I could stick it, but I'm not bothering. That one's folded, that can be dumped, that, but they can go over here more Christmas ones over there then Christmas um, general embellishments these are the sort of things that I want to um, use some more Christmas ones been stamped little more stickers embellishment and just to prove, I'm just keeping on the time because it's nearly um, 10 minutes. And this is what I mean by the embellishment box that I keep. Little oddments, all the little bits and pieces that I want to use. So they will go in there. And that's the sort of thing that I want to be able to use up. Making a few, some more. Christmas ones, I can go in there, more 
of the eyes. A happy birthday, more stickers. So we are nearly there. That's a little plain one. Let me go in there. A little sticker. Go in there. More stickers. A bird. That I'm going to have to put in my little bit one in the kitchen. I've got those little little box because that came actually off a decoration at Christmas. I recognise it. And I'll put that in the Christmas one. Go, 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 go. I know this video will go over a tad, but that is because I did um, an intro. But the idea is for me to try and get this put away. Those are the plugs. I'm going to put them. They belong to my Sussex machine underneath to stop it from scratching. Button there. This is a handmade thing. I've got those there. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. An eye. That can go, that can go, that can go. Now this, I kept because it come off um, a set of pyjamas. So I'm going to keep that and use that as a for something. And I've got um, a baggie for those. That's just a key ring that can be dumped. And that I will keep because that um, is one of those that you use a command strip on. So that is the basket. I will put that along with the other command hooks. So basically that's what I'm left with. And they all go away into their um, different bags and boxes. So I just wanted to show you this. So I'm hoping this might spare you on if you've got a big basket or um, anything that needs sorting on a work surface. You know, maybe even set a timer for 10 minutes and just say to yourself, see what I can get done in that 10 minutes and get it done. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.